Hello, Cancer. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Cancer placements. Cancer, I have the overwhelming desire to tell you how beautiful you are. And I think that's from spirit side that you're not feeling as good about yourself as you should. And that, that, that's, they're asking you to not believe anyone who tells you that you're not good enough. Because you are. You're good enough. You're beautiful. Okay? All right. Dormant aspect. Gifts. Water chalice. Why are you sticking out? Independence and scars. Oh, Cancer, you've been through it, love. However, you are definitely coming into something new and you had cards flip out so we're going to go ahead and take them queen of gabrielle you can do anything right now page of gabrielle follow your passion you're ready for any challenge knight of ariel there is much to accomplish page of michael an exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed Review contracts and documents very thoroughly. You have been through it, love. Let me just tell you, you have, you've been trying to do something and it just has not been going. But I think that, that you're not done. You can get through this, whatever this is. There is a lot to do. You do have... Once it feels like once you're finished with this, you can move on. It feels like once you finish from this, whatever this is, there's a, there is a challenge in front of you right now. You're in it or you're just coming out of it. Okay. This is going to provide you with much needed knowledge, much needed emotional balance. This is going to give you an emotion, an emotional balance on a whole new level. Knight of Swords, you're not done yet. High Priestess, Chariot, there you are. There you are. Page of Wands, love seeing you there. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Two of Swords, the Emperor, Seven of Pentacles, Eight, oh, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Star, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune with the Hangman and the King of Swords and the Hermit. Okay. Okay. So, it looks like you're going to have to take a new approach on something, but you know this, and you know that you absolutely can do it. Come slowly okay we have fast movement we have slow it looks like fast movement is getting you in trouble if that is true if this fast movement that you're trying to take is getting you into trouble back it up slow and steady okay there's i don't there's no knight of pentacles here but i'm really getting that vibe and that's not what you want to do because it's like you have to prove something you don't have to prove anything. You already know that you can do this. So stepping forward slowly is what I am getting. Being patient with yourself, understanding where you put your time, energy, and effort is going to make all the difference making the choice Let's see emperor to put mm -hmm. there is a two ace of wands wow there's a new path that you're ready to go down 
but you have to make a choice to try something again or not. But I'm getting you already know how it's going to turn out. I'm getting that you need to wrap this up. Wrap it up. That's what I'm getting. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. You're letting it linger, Cancer. Whatever this is, you're letting it linger. And it's time to wrap that up. You have been through it, and it's time to wrap it up. Okay? It's like slowly backing out the door because there's like a, rac a mad raccoon over by the garbage can. You know what I'm saying? Wrapping it up. Just backing out. Mm-hmm so that you can go in a different direction. You don't know where that is. But whoever I'm reading for, you're not sure where that is. But you're feeling at a loss from this. I'm taking, I'm getting, take the loss because it's not really a loss. You're just perceiving it that way now. Yeah, you are. You try and go again you're not going to get anything different. Healing, moving forward, putting the work in. It's going to be a lot of work, but you are going to be able to get a whole new perspective about what has really happened. Okay? Back, it, back out and wrap it up. That's what I got. Wrap it up. Time to wrap it up so that you can move forward. It's, it's, it's like growing a tree, but the sapling did not make it, but yet you're still watering it. You know what I'm saying? So you're still trying to get to a situation that is not going to improve. And you know this. And it is a loss. I can see that there is a loss connected with this love, okay? I'm not going to say that there's not. However, you're learning how to be more emotionally independent. Forced. Forced. Don't try and force the situation is what I'm getting. Back it up. Okay, let's see what the Dreams of Gaia has for you for um, advice. It up. I just keep getting that. Back it up. It's like what happens when you continue to water a dead plant? It just rots. And then you get mold. Okay? It would be very unhealthy for you to continue to try and force this situation to happen. To wait for the situation to change. It's not going to is what I've got. Five of cups. Again, with the fives. Ooh, cancer. Accepting what is, is what I am getting, okay? Loss, betrayal, fear, doubt, hopelessness, isolation, self-pity, and blame. Feeling alone and isolated, without hope, consumed by fears and doubts, unable to see a way forward, trapped in the moment, feeling angry and betrayed. Mourn your loss and stop playing the victim. Okay, Cancer, it's time for you to um, let go is what I'm getting. Let's get a card from Sacred Rebels. Guys, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can email me. I do go live for free readings, and I do all 12 signs every Sunday at 5 p.m. Central. Collaborative Dreaming, number 28. Collaborative Dreaming. Your heart is big enough to dream not only for yourself, but for a new humanity. Imagine a world that is healed with respect, understanding, and with community that fosters life. Even your dreams that relate to you alone will contribute pos 
positively to the greater good because that is the nature of your heart. Your heart naturally and intelligently cooperates in a grand scheme of loving creativity, working to heal the hearts of the world. The heart creates win-win situations that benefit the individual and the collective. You are being asked to honor your growing desire to co-create with conscious, like-minded people. Your collaborative dreaming in a heart-inspired win-win, bringing mutual enhancement to, uh, to yourself and others. The heart wants to love and be loved. Working with others creatively is a way to allow your heart to grow. It is a chance for you to learn how to honor yourself and others and to find ways to live and let live simply by growing and strengthening your active trust in your heart's guidance. You're asked to bear the rough patches that can happen when you work creatively with others. Ideas might clash and there can be friction, particularly if you have different ways of working. Sometimes big dreams need more fire to ignite them into reality. Okay. Cancer, it's time for you to mourn and release, is what I am getting. You were dreaming with someone else, or, yeah, this is a relationship, Cancer. Whoever I'm connecting with, this is definitely a relationship, and it's time for you to mourn and release, okay? For the healing process, imagine a chain of paper dowels all connected, forming a circle. Imagine that the circle chain of paper dolls can be filled with a beautiful golden light, which begins in the heart of each paper doll. The light shines out and shimmers, making the paper dolls radiant, shining and golden. Imagine a feeling of love, connection, help, and goodwill shining along with the golden light. Stay with that image or feeling as long as it feels good for you. Then simply open your eyes and you have completed your healing process. Okay, Cancer, I wish you all the best love. You know I love you. I will see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.